If you're in the market for a new carabiner, you may have noticed that there are a lot of options. So which one should you get? Today, we're gonna to go through the considerations you need to go through before you make your next purchase. Hi, I'm Sarah from sendedition.com. If you're new to climbing or looking for new climbing gear, click subscribe. I'm making videos like this just for you. When it comes to carabiners, there are a few considerations to take into hand, and we're going to go through today a few of those being shape, the size, closure system, and a few other options that may be the deciding factors for you, so stay to the end to get those details. The shape of the carabiner is going to be dependent on your belay device. If you're using something like the Black Diamond Pilot, which I made a video about right here, you're going to want to get a belay device that has this figure eight shape. That is because this belay device is dependent on the space you have in the carabiner and the belay device for the rope being caught up. If you're using a small carabiner like this, the functionality of the belay device gets compromised when it falls down to this smaller space. So it is ideal for you to use a belay device such as this. It will make sure that your belay loop stays down here and the belay device stays up here. There are carabiners that are the C shape that have a rubber band that go across and I've heard those function pretty well, but I would just stick with what the manufacturer recommends, which is a figure eight system. Now for Grigri's, it's usually best to use a C or D shape carabiner and the size of this, I've actually used both the large size and the small size. It doesn't make that big of a difference, but there is a slight difference in how easy it is to get a belay loop and a blade device through a small carabiner is slightly more difficult than getting them through a bigger carabiner because there's more space to work with. When it comes to an ATC or a figure eight, however, they're all going to work. Shape is also related to how comfortable it is to have in your hand. There's definitely a more comfort to having a wider area right here for holding it in your hand. It's definitely more comfortable if it's rounder compared to this one from Petzl, which is really sharp square edge. There is a comfort in that shape. Now I have three main sizes right here. I've got a small carabiner and a medium sized carabiner. Their profiles are actually pretty similar, but when you look at them side by side, this one clearly has more space then this carabiner and then we have a large size carabiner which i could practically fit a small carabiner inside that carabiner the grigri for example i can fit all three of these and it just comes down to preference it's a little bit easier for me to use a bigger carabiner with the grigri because not only do I have to go through kind of a wide area here, I also have to go through the belay loop. It's a little bit easier if you have a medium or large size carabiner. There's two main types of closure systems. There's auto locking and then there's twist lock. You'll notice that none of these have twist locks and that's because I don't really like the twist locks. I do have one somewhere uh, because I don't get rid of carabiners, but I don't know where it is. The problem with twist locks is it takes two hands and then also, if you twist it too tight, then it's difficult to undo after putting a lot of pressure from lowering someone or someone who's sitting on the carabiner. So in general, I prefer auto locking devices. Now auto locking carabiners, there are three different types. There's this type, which is new to the market. It's a pinching magnetic system. So you pinch them to disengage the magnets and then you can use it as normal. And when you close it, it automatically uses those magnets. These are new to the market and I've only seen them with black diamond, so they are more expensive. The second type of auto locking I don't actually have, but when you twist it, you also have to lift up and twist to be able to disengage it. Some people prefer this because they feel like it's safer. I don't like how you have to use two hands to use it. You have to have a downward force in order to be able to lift up and then you twist and then you open. So I do prefer just a plain twisting locking mechanism. When it comes to the twisting locking mechanism though, not all carabiners are made equally. My favorite is the Black Diamonds twisting locking mechanism. My least favorite is the Petzl and I will go through exactly why that is right now. 
So when it comes to the black diamond, shape of the closure system is slightly rounded, plus you can get three fingers on it, so it's really easy to twist with three fingers and use all three fingers to do this mechanism. The roundness makes it a little bit easier to grip. The Petzl, on the other hand, you can fit all three fingers, but because of the way it's set up, there's only really grip in the middle for your middle finger. And then this grip is also really funky in that it has steps instead of just being one continuous piece. So instead of a smooth twist, it's kind of like a stepping twist, which I actually don't like. In addition, this one is a little bit harder to twist. It has more resistance than all of the other carabiners that I have. And for that reason, this is probably my least favorite auto locking carabiner. From there, you also have a straight edge locking carabiner and that is just this shape right here is straight. This is the Trango and there's enough space for all three fingers. This one, the Fusion is probably my next favorite compared to the Black Diamond and there's enough space for all three fingers. Plus there's this slight gap between the middle finger and the ring finger. So you can have this additional help when it comes to gripping the device. Device. So in ease of use for the closure system, the hardest would be the Petzl, and then it goes the Camp, and then it goes the Trango, and then Fusion, and then my favorite and easiest to use is the Black Diamond. Those are the three main considerations. If you're still up in the air between two of them, let me go through a couple of smaller things that you can think about to really help you make that decision final. The first is the weight. There are a couple of carabiners that they're just heavy. So there is a difference with weight, though that weight's not going to be significant when you're on the wall. It's not going to interfere with your performance. And those couple of ounces probably isn't going to interfere with your scramble up to the rock either. The next is price. The black diamonds with the magnetic closure system is significantly more expensive than the black diamond twist auto locking. I would definitely pay the extra cost for the auto locking device, but it's probably not necessary to spend the extra bucks for this cool magnetic closure system, unless you really want something cool like I did when I got this. <laughs> Another quick consideration is brand. In this case, really brand didn't make that big of a difference. I think the Trango and the Fusion, even though they're not as popular brands, they're both great carabiners and just as comfortable to use. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. I was hope it was helpful. And if you have any other considerations you think I missed, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching guys and enjoy climbing.